Hey guys, this is Reese with uh, Cranberry Alarm Robot in Three Days. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about um, our strategy breakdown of the game, um, what our objectives are going to be, and what could be good objectives for you guys moving forward. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Over here we got to kind of have our uh, scoring breakdown where we just kind of laid out all the points that could be scored in the game. Um, there's theoretically, uh, there could be a theoretical maximum but um, we didn't go through and calculate that. Um, in auto, the only places that you can really score points are going to be in the amp and the speaker. Speaker's going to be worth five, uh, amp's going to be worth two. And in tele, um, the speaker's going to be worth double what the amp is. And then when you amplify, the speaker is going to be worth five. Uh, and then right here is all the stage points. And these are going to be important for when it comes to the, uh, scoring the ensemble RP. Um, so these are two really important factors, the melody and the ensemble. The melody is going to be uh, purely based on game pieces scored. However, one important note with the melody is that if you score, uh, if you get the co-op, which is going to be in the first uh, 45 seconds scoring a game piece, uh, sorry, a note in the amp, that'll basically allow you to go into co-op petition and you're going to need both alliances to do that. And if you get that, that basically removes the maximum from 18 to 15. And then on the ensemble, uh, you need to score 10 stage points. And that could be kind of any combination of here. Um, there's actually a lot of combinations that can actually get you that 10 stage points. You can either do it with three robots, you can do it with two robots. Um, the minimum has to be two robots climbing. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can really do it. The biggest, the most common way that I've seen is going to be two robots parking for six points, uh, and then them going to be in harmony, and then a second robot, or a third robot, sorry, also climbing. That, that's a really easy way to get 10 points with just three robots. There is a way to do um, with 10, or, sorry, two robots to get the 10 points, um, and not utilizing the trap at all. When you get the trap, it makes it really easy to get uh, the 10 stage points with just two robots. Um, with just two robots, you will need to get the high note add-on. Um, and remember, this is going to be one point per robot under the high note. Um, so if you get, for example, two robots climbing together in harmony with the high note, that's a total of 10 points right there. Uh, and moving over here, you can kind of see our feature breakdown. We have some dimensions of what we thought the, uh, about the game pieces and uh, game elements and whatnot. Um, Moving here towards the features uh, of the game, basically these were our objectives for the games that we thought were most important. Um, the biggest ones here were going to be scoring a note in the speaker, scoring a note in the amp, climbing on the chain, uh, picking up the feeder station, picking up the ground, and scoring a note in the stage trap. Uh, our most important priority was going to be scoring a note in the speaker. Um, we thought that if you had to play a match by yourself, the scoring notes in the speaker is going to allow you to have the highest capability of points. Um, however, scoring the amp is also very important because that also opens up a very big potential of points um, when it comes to being amplified. So when it comes to alliance play, make sure you watch out for amps because though, even though they may be worth half as much um, than the speaker, being amplified is going to be very beneficial to your alliances. So for us, though, we put the scoring uh, notes in the speaker as our number one priority. Our second priority is going to be picking up from the ground. And we say this because um, unlike last year where you had cones that could be in multiple different orientations, you could have the cone point towards you, away from you, flipped over. There's many different orientations. This year, the game piece can only be in one orientation. That's going to be flat on the ground. Um, and since it's a circle, obviously, you can be, come from any point, and it'll be the exact same. Um, so picking up from the ground allows us, uh, opens up the capability in terms of scoring, allows you to get from basically anywhere on the field, whether game pieces are dropped or whatnot. So that's a very big priority for us. The next step is going to be climbing on chain. The reason this is above the amp in this case is because we want to make sure we get the ensemble points. Um, and that's going to be really, really big for ranking. And sometimes um, getting ranking points could be more beneficial than winning, uh, than scoring points. Um, obviously winning the match is going to be the biggest priority because that's going to be two RP. Um, but getting the on ensemble is going to be very beneficial. After the ensemble, we did put scoring notes in the amp because um, this opens up the capability for more points, for two and a half time points uh, from the speaker when, once you're amplified. 
Um, after that, we said scoring notes in the stage chat. This is going to be something that could be very beneficial to teams. Um, with our robot in three days consideration, uh, it's a bit of a lower priority for us. However, five points for one note, and if that's something that you can do at the end of a match in a matter of just uh, 10 seconds while you, like, while, right after you climb, that's a great opportunity to score some easy points and makes it easier on you also for scoring the ensemble. Um, after that is picking up for the feeder station. This is a bit of a lower priority for us because we assume that we can basically get from any position on uh, from ground pickup, which will allow us to, you know, the feeder, the human player station can throw out uh, game pieces onto the floor and we can pick them up from there. Um, and right here we just have uh, some little notes right here that we didn't really fully go through, but we kind of talked about some notes about the uh, robot that we wanted to include, which is reduced robot width, which will help a lot with um, having teammates next to each other on the chain. Um, cycle helping via intake and output side. So this is basically when you intake from one side and outtake on the other side. Um, and then reaching outside the frame perimeter is going to be really important for um, grabbing game pieces that may be tied up against the wall. That way, if, if you had a cutout in your frame perimeter, it might be hard to go grab that. Um, driving over nodes is going to be really important. If you grab on the other side of the field, you grab a note, a note and you come all the way to the other side, you're probably going to be hitting maybe a few notes on your way there. So it's going to be really important to be able to drive over those really easily. And then driving under a chain. This is going to be a really hard design challenge to consider because you're going to be limited to about 27 inches, um, probably 26 and a half. You want to give yourself some room. Um, and this will allow you to basically drive through the, the center, the, the stage zone um, unimpeded. Uh, all you got to do is make your way around the trusses. And yeah, so that's about it for our um, strategy. Uh, make sure to check out more videos, uh, Cranberry Alarm RI3D on uh, First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.